I'm Jude McGonigal. I'm a student at Echo Kenwood Flinch Emotion, fifth grade. That's a Columbus City school. Today, Dr. Snickers and I will tell you about our invention, the meadow basket. According to the Humane Society of the United States, guinea pigs should be provided with an unlimited quantity of fresh hay daily. How I found this problem. The feeder we bought for our two guinea pigs did not hold enough hay to last through the day. I tried putting extra hay in on a piece of fleece and in a cardboard container, but they just sat in the hay while they were eating it and went to the bathroom. So the hay got ruined and we kept having to throw it away. When I got home from school each day, my, my guinea pigs would cry when they saw me because they ran out of hay or what was left was stinky or damp. And I knew I needed to find a better way to feed them hay. My first prototype was made out of a plastic container. My mom helped me cut two holes in it, but the holes are too small, so we cut them a bit bigger. But one day, the guinea pigs ate them a lot bigger, and one of, them, one of my pigs was able to squeeze inside. We had two holes to add clips in and to make it hold onto the back of the cage. I was afraid when they went inside, they would get stuck or hurt. So I started over. I did an internet search for available hay mangers, market research. I looked in stores and on the internet for a better product. All of the ones that I saw had problems. The first one, which I actually bought, was too small. The second one was made out of plastic and didn't seem safe. The second one was all, con the third one was all contained and it was boxed and they couldn't get to the hay up top. The fourth one, they would be sitting in the hay and making it dirty. So my second prototype and my final prototype, my, one of my prototypes is metal with a wet basket at the bottom to catch the dirty hay. Results. My pigs like it because it gives them enough hay to make it through the day. The hay doesn't get stuck at the top because it's open all the way up. The tray catches all the scrap pieces and also keeps the hay clean and dry. Then I asked some other guinea pig owners and they said, it's great that it holds the hay and keeps it clean. If I just put a pile in my guinea pig's cage, he spreads it out and makes it dirty, wasting a lot of hay. That quote's from the mom of Henley. The second quote from the mom of Spiffy is, the metal basket would save me so much money and worry. Money, because I will be flowing out so much less dirty hay. Worry, because I know their hay will not run out and will be clean and dry. Like I said, that's from the mom of Spiffy. Future prototype plans. It works really well, but I do plan to make some improvements. The catch basket should be much smaller so they can get closer and should be made from metal so they don't chew it. Smaller carabiners would make it closer to the back. I would make the back part closed so the hay doesn't fall on the floor. Market audience. If I, if the metal basket were produced by a company, I would expect that it would sell at $20 because that's the range for similar high-end quality guinea pig feeders. I believe people would buy it because it makes guinea pigs happy. Market demand. The survey company Gallup estimates that 1% of U.S. households have pet guinea pigs. The U.S. has 129 million households, so that is 1.29 million households with guinea pigs. Rabbits could also use it, so that would be even more. Thank you for letting me tell you about the metal basket. Dr. Snickers agrees.